Oh my gosh, do I love this product. My enthusiasm might border on maybe just a little bit of weirdness because I'm so stoked on it. And it's such an unusual item to be excited about, but I am. And that means I make a tabletop review of it. I've been using it for about three months. I want to present it for your consideration. It is so excellent that I will allow it to anchor this tabletop review on what I will call tableware and culinary containers, specifically for the following or similar purposes. Backpacking, camping, hiking, BOK okay preparation. If you like coffee drinking a lot, pay attention. Uh, let's see, what else? Motorcycling, RV, camping, I think I said. Yeah, all that stuff where SAWC is really important. You might want to consider this container because it rocks. Whoosh! The C2 Summit X Mug. Hey, it's just a folding cup, nothing. Uh, yeah, it is, but take it from me, I've been around using folding cups since the 1970s. This dominates those. Totally does. First up, we talked about SAWC, right? Size and weight constraints. Okay, a lot of times we can't take this. Here is an Infinity, I guess that's the name of it, GSI Outdoors mug. It's insulated. It's good. It's good. I like it. It has a lid on it. Apparently tight fitting, too. It's really nice. Let's see how much this weighs, by the way. And we're going to use this scale a lot just to keep it real. Uh, I don't know, three-ish. Oh, shackage. I did not weigh that before. Three ounces. Okay, so uh, not a super lightweight. I would never go backpacking with that. But not just because it's three ounces, which is a lot in the world of backpacking. It is. But it's bulky. I mean, yeah, I can pop stuff, you know, I pop the lid off, put a fire kit in there and use that space efficiently. You get it. But it's better that I pack this, right? The Sea to Summit X mug, which by the way is a 16 ounce container. Am I telling you right? Yeah. Look at the weight. When you first lift it up, you're like, eh, it's not super lightweight. And it isn't, but it's lighter than that. 2.2 ounces? Hey, remember this? The shake cup I told you guys to buy at Walmart like, I don't know, 20 years ago? Let's see. Reset, reset. Which weighs more? The shake cup, which by the way does have that lid, that really cool pop-up and spout con uh, lid on it, whatever. Uh, graduation markings for cooking and such. It's very helpful. I've snow camped with it, backpacked with it, love it. Doesn't flatten down though, and check out the weight. So it's slightly heavier. I know, I lift these two up, and because this one is more compact, it seems denser, it's actually lighter weight. Oh, I love this cup so much. Link at the bottom if I can find one. Really, and this is how it works. So it's a silicone with a hard plastic rim, and it just pops out, and it produces a large, get this, insulated cup. Because it's silicone, Silicone is a natural insulator, and it does have graduation marks inside in case you need to measure with it. Oh, it's so cool. Tapered at the bottom so it will fit into your vehicle or whatever system you want. There is no lid included, so it would be hard to find one, though. But for all the other things I was talking about, oh, it's so excellent. It holds a lot of ice. I mean, like if you airline travel and those little tiny cups they give you, dude, just pop out your X mug. Fill it up with ice, it'll take like a whole can of Coke. How excellent is that? Comes with different colors, by the way. I love this lime green. Oh, that's cool. Really bright and cheery. We'll just make your day. See to summit. And it comes in gray as well. 2.2 ounces X mod. Just love it. Can't believe you're this excited about it, nothing. Uh, I am. It's genuine too. Here's the bowl, by the way. How cool is that? So if you want to do oatmeal on the road, maybe at your backpack site, and look at how uh, flat it folds, you might consider this. Incidentally, speaking of the brand C to Summit, I told you I was gonna roll, roll in some other stuff. Here's one of their bowls that is not collapsible, but it sure is excellent. I have some of these that I use at the house. They're so cool. I bought these, I think at REI, but if I find them at like Amazon or something, I'll let you know. So it's a temperature resistant, hard plastic bowl 
the Sea to Summit bowl and it has a gasket rubber locked lid on it. So if you have some liquids, soups, you want to keep them warm and you don't want to spill them. This thing, let me put this on, I need to do it off camera, will actually seal so tight it's waterproof. So you can turn it upside down. Let's weigh it because weight is a very important aspect to all our SAWC limited systems. I would not go backpacking with this. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be too heavy. I'll say 5.8. Oh, not far off. 5.4. Uh, so it's, it's heavier. Let's try this one. And incidentally, here's what it looks like when it's popped out. Oh, yeah. These two bowls, by the way, will hold about the same amount of liquid or food stuff. Uh, I looked very carefully before I got these and said, is there are any like nooks and crannies in where it would cause a problem? Like you get oatmeal in there and you have to clean out with a toothbrush. But it looks like Seat to Summit did a really good job with the ceiling. Look, there's no crevices. So this is a hard plastic thermoresistant base. It's probably the same plastic as this. Microwavable too, I believe. I think it is. And uh, it'll clean easy. Wipes out easy. Graduation markings on the bowl, just like uh, I was making sure. Is I see the milliliters. I don't see the cups on the bowl, just like it is on that one. This one, I actually think it does have ounce graduations, cup graduations. It does, and then milliliters. Yeah, that's all in there. Let's see what the weight is. Two point eight ounces. Awesome. So it's a lot lighter than this and it collapses most excellently yeah plus a plus a plus on those cool colors i really like the bright colorations and then i want to show you this as well i don't think you've seen them before it's uh oracaso maybe i showed them in my backpacking equipment reviews but i would take these along because they are so super light and they have a lot of volume capability they're the oracaso full flat tableware and they look like this. It's, you're just going to do like a little bit of origami when you do this. I'm not going to fold it together, but this is what it looks like. And it's okay. But here's the big plus is it folds flat. It is reusable, so you're not polluting. I always love that. And look at what it weighs. 1.6 ounces for this. Cool. Which one would you prefer between that and the bowl, Nutton? Well, this is going to, the Oracosta is going to have more volume capability. It does have sides. If I'm eating a full meal and I don't need partitions, I'd go with this. But if it's like a single thing, like a rice bowl with chicken in, I'd go with a bowl. Just me. Hey, trip down memory lane. Do you remember this? The GSI Pinnacle Soloist. Now, this is really, not really, I don't know, a tableware per se. It's more of a cooking utensil. I did this with a Titanium Peak 1 a couple years back, but it does have nesting cups and a pretty much useless spoon, in my opinion. But the reason I'm pulling this out is one, let's weigh this bowl, which is pretty small in compared comparisons to the X Mug bowl. Let's take this out. It does have a neoprene sleeve on the exterior. Uh, it's actually pretty light. I'll say 2.5. Oh, two, two. Okay, so it's about the same weight as this. But this volume wise will dominate it. A couple more things to show you. A couple more things. This is a salt container. I think this is by GSI. I don't know if I'd go backpacking with this uh, because it's a little bit heavy, but it's polycarbonate and it holds a lot of salt. So if you're a traveler, maybe RV, camper, all that, all that stuff, you might consider this. You can use the old 35 millimeter canisters if you can find them because who uses 35 millimeter film anymore? They're harder and harder to find or any other plastic container. I love these. I do drill between the two compartments because there's like a, a partition. I just take an auger bit and drill it. That way I have one big salt container. School. Here's another one by what is this MSR? This one I do go backpacking with. What do I have here? I've been lemon pepper for trout fishing and salt. So it's a very small, compact uh, way to carry your spices. Let's see what this weighs. Full. Uh, it's so funny we weigh all this stuff. Uh, I'd say 1.7. Oh, 0.8. I was way off on that one. 0.8 so that's that's awesome and this one weighs I know a lot more because that polycarbonate is not it's thick too 
It's kind of heavy. Uh, oh, there is one more here. Who makes this? This is also a GSI. So this is a three spice container partitioned. You can unscrew it like that. This one's going to be even more uh, weighty. 2.6. There you go. That's it. Short video. Uh, but man, the anchor once again are the X Mugs by Sea to Summit. The silicone, and they keep it warm. They keep it hot. They fold flat. I think for what they hold, they're pretty lightweight. Ah, uh, man, that's cool. I can't believe I'm this excited over a cup. Weird. Out.